Bom dia! Good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayutu, and yes, I am the guy that with his family literally sold everything they owned three and a half years ago, so almost four years ago now, and went all into Bitcoin. We sold our house, our companies, everything went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, almost four years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos, Portugal. Not on the beach today, but here in a beautiful part of nature surrounded with big ass villas. So just taking a walk somewhere else than the beach today because I want to show you more parts of Portugal. In today's video, of course, looking at the Bitcoin charts together with Lisa and Edwards and Sean from Hard Forking, also talking about two external factors that put some selling pressure on the Bitcoin price. Talking about Cuba because I like what I see and what is happening in Cuba now with Bitcoin. And yes, giving you an update up about the Bitcoin Prime Machina, the SUV that I'm driving through Portugal and Spain with and through some other countries that is soon going to be wrapped. We got an update on the design and yes, I did a down payment at the wrapping company, so it will be wrapped next Monday. We also went looking for another house because the Wi-Fi in this one is not that good. So I will show you some areas in Portugal while I talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Enjoy today's video, guys. So let's start with the Bitcoin Prime Machina guys. Yes, that is the car we are driving with. This one is going to be completely wrapped in Bitcoin style. We had a very beautiful style developed, designed, I need to say. Check it, let me know if you like it. It's just a very fast preview of some parts of the car. I'm not going to show the whole car, just some parts of the car. And you let me know if you like these parts of the car. Bam! So this of course is the Bitcoin logo. And yes, of course, you can also see the Bitcoin family logo. And yes, of course, also the logo of the two supporters of this tour, PrimeXBT and MachinaTrader.com. And soon I will announce the other small supporters as well. And on the rooftop, guys, a kick-ass print as well. Check a detail of this print. If, you, if I would zoom out now, you would really love it. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep that till the end, till the car is fully wrapped, and then you can see the complete result, guys. Ah, Diddy, asshole, show me the result. No, I'm not going to show you the result. You need to wait another week, and then you will be amazed how beautiful it is. You could indeed see there is a kick-ass Bitcoin on it, and there will also be a text on it that needs to be next to the Bitcoin logo so people understand the difference between Bitcoin and the traditional monetary system. Leave a comment below if you know what text I'm going to put next to the Bitcoin logo. Let me know in the comments because I'm curious to see if you can guess what text I will put next to this Bitcoin logo. And also let me know that if you could choose a text, what kind of text would you put on it? Would you put on it, zoom out in crypto, zoom in on life, or would you put on it, born to be free, or whatever. Let me know what text you would put on this car. Let's dive into some shards, guys, because I need to keep it short. Stop talking, Didi. Stop talking. <laughs> you need to go home. Yeah, I know. It was a very busy day. I want to dive into some shards with you guys now. Let's start with this one. Bam! This chart shows you that the miners are starting to sell Bitcoin in July this year. So from July till now, they have been selling Bitcoins, which made the Bitcoin price drop from 12,400 US dollar all the way down to 9,800 US dollar. This is what we call selling pressure. There are only two external factors that can push this selling pressure into the market on Bitcoin. These are the miners and the exchanges. The miners, because they need to make some money, they need to pay for their monthly bills of electricity and all that stuff, so they need to sell Bitcoins when they think Bitcoin is in a, in a short mid-term high. And then, of course, you have the exchanges. The exchanges calculate fees for the trading we do on the exchanges. And these fees they calculate, we pay in Bitcoin. So they will sell Bitcoin as well into the market because they need money to pay their employees. Because yes, 
all these exchanges that have a lot of employees, they are not all paying them in Bitcoin, they are still paying them in fiat. And how do they get fiat? They can only get fiat by selling exactly Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency that they, that they calculate as a fee on the exchange. So that is why these miners and these exchanges are the biggest selling pressure entities into the market. Because the miners, I think, mine about 900 Bitcoins a day in total now since the halving. And the exchanges, they can put on the market about 1200 Bitcoins a day just because of the trading fees. So in total, they are able to put 2100 Bitcoins per day onto the market. So they can put a lot of selling pressure onto the Bitcoin price. That's why you always keep an eye on what the exchanges are doing and what the miners are doing. Is the Bitcoins flowing out of the miners? Are they selling? Then be aware the price could drop. If you see huge outflows of the exchanges, be aware the price could drop. The exchanges, by the way, could also mean that all the wills are taking their Bitcoins off the exchanges to hold it. So the exchanges is not very easy to see, but then if you know all the wallet addresses these exchanges are using, their own wallet addresses, then you could track it. Because if you can see that the cold wallet of Bitnex or the cold wallet of Binance is going to sell Bitcoins, that's the exchange that's going to sell Bitcoins to pay salaries to their employees. And yes, that can influence the Bitcoin price. But also understand that these two external factors won't be big enough to keep pressuring the price down. There will be a time that Bitcoin will just naturally evolve in this bull run and then the exchanges and the miners are not able to stop this beautiful run up to a new all-time high. Like I shared in yesterday's video, I expected Bitcoin to touch 11K and fall back to 10,200 US dollar, around 10,200 US dollar. And what we see at the moment is that Bitcoin fell down to 10,000, I think 300 US dollar. So we are around 10,300 US dollar now. I think the support is between 10 and 10,200 US dollar. So if we would keep this area as support again, that will be the second test after breaking this level as a resistance like i shared on my yesterday's video you could see this vertical line we tested once upwards tested twice upwards tested three times upwards and then we broke it and then we broke 10k and then we came down to 10k down and we went up again and now we came down to 10k again so we are testing this line so if we keep support around 10k this is very positive and again we will see in 12k very soon I am a believer that we will go up to 12k before we are going to talk about any CME gap that we will fill in the near future. But let's see what the pros have to say about this. Let's jump into Lisa. And not many, and I don't mean physically jump into Lisa, just jump into Lisa's charts. That's what I mean. <laughs> don't run to Lisa now and I'll jump on Lisa. That was not my intention of what I said. Sorry, Lisa and Sean, I couldn't be there today. It was a very busy morning and I had to arrange some family stuff, some car stuff, some tour stuff so sorry i couldn't join it next week monday i will be there i'm not going to abandon you i still love you guys i don't hate you i'm definitely not going to tweet to everybody jump onto lisa i meant let's jump into lisa's shorts let's <laughs> not in fucking hell not in lisa's shorts <laughs> i don't want to oh didi breathe <sighs> breathe I'm not going to jump into Lisa. We are not going to jump into Lisa's charts. We are going to jump in Lisa's charts. Let's take a look at let's take a look at Lisa's charts. I'm losing all my vocabulary now. I'm, I'm starting to stumble. My God, slap me. Um, one, two, three. Let's look at Lisa's charts. Bam. So Didi has piked it on us, and he doesn't like this anymore. So we don't like him either. Yeah, whatever, Didi. Yeah. Whatever. Talk to the hand. Just the so two of us today, which means it it's, it's going to be serious talk, Lisa. It's going to be serious, serious focused, talk, serious, focused, and all about the charts. Ugh. All right. So on the weekend, um, we hit the top of this channel and we've come down. And you know, I said to everyone that I was buying the dip so I could long my longs longer. <laughs> You were you're looking at what you said last week. I went back and checked it out. You're you've been a hundred percent correct this week. Yeah. Uh, so we, so what we were going to do was we were going to hit the top of the channel. We're going to come down. There's a underneath this. There's an MA there. 
Yay! So <laughs> we've come back down, we've tested this MA, which is also the bottom channel. Now mm -hmm. this pattern, and I know everyone on Twitter is turning bearish, and there has been this pattern a couple of times, and the pattern that this was primarily happening was at 3,200. So we started doing this rising wedge and everyone's like, no, 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 we're going down, we're going down, you know, tone vase, we're going to 1,000, you know, uh, Bitcoin's dead, all of this. So, and, and this kept happening. And, you know, every time we'd come down, they'd like, yeah, that's it, we're, we're going to the bottom. So, you know, I continue to hear that we're going to 10,200, which is this diagonal support around this, it's probably, uh, it's probably a little bit lower. So probably, you know, just around the 10,000 mark. But this pattern doesn't go like that. So this pattern breaks up. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, if we go back through the charts, and we go back, 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 back. So we're going to go back and we're going to have a look. So we've got on this point here. So we've got another rising wedge. So if we draw here, this is our, our pattern that we had from um, 3,900 where we had the trading engine fail, failure. So we've got this, we came down, we broke down a little bit and look, we had this massive, massive, big third wave. So, you know, we, we went from 6,500 right up to, at this point, 12,000. So, you know, we, we doubled um, within a short period of time. So um, we also had this pattern way back when, my charts are taking forever to load. So if we can get, I'll go to a higher time frame. So we can see this. So if we highlight this pattern here, so we've got this rising wedge happening again. We have it happening here. Um, so if we, we have a look at this pattern here as to what we've got happening, we've got this pattern happening here, which breaks up. So you know, the more I hear everyone saying that we're going down, the more I believe we're going up. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a constant thing on Twitter that every time, you know, we have a similar pattern to this, we're going down and it's, it's going down quite deep. And it's like, oh. you know, when we go down and we hit the $10,000 mark last time, all of a sudden we were going to fill 8,000 and 7,000 dollar gaps. And it's like, hang on a sec, no, we're not. When did that come into the picture? So um, again, I think if we go, I've got a, uh, hang on, let me find it. That's Ethereum. So you're staying long on, uh, on Bitcoin, Lisa. Yeah, so I'm long and I've been adding to my longs. Okay. So, yeah. What, so let me where, how, what would change your mind on that in the, in the next few days? What sort of movement? Okay, so this is, um, this is the monthly BTC chart. And we can see at the moment we've got this strong diagonal support that we keep bouncing on. So if we were to come back down and... Um, sort of hit sort of below this this area here is where i was just showing you which is potentially possible the ten thousand dollar mark so yep. you know if if that rising wedge that we're in at the moment does break down it's not going to break down past this support okay. i don't think it's i personally don't think it's breaking down but you know stranger things have happened so if it does this is the the lower support here um, I think we go up first. I really think we go up first before we come down. Okay. So I think we're finishing a fifth wave. So I think potentially we are heading to, you know, 14,000. So if I was looking at this, I would go, okay, we've gone one, potentially three to here, four, five. So, you know, we're, 
if I'm trading this, potentially this could even go higher before we go lower. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I'm seeing at least 14,000 on this pattern at the moment. So I, I really don't believe we're going down. Uh, this monthly looks really good and um, we've got nice strong wicks and yeah, I, I think we continue up. Very good. Ethereum. You got the Ethereum chart up here. Lots of, uh, lots of different opinions on this one as well. A lot of people saying we could head back to, to 280, 290 or break 390 and head up. What are you, what are you, what are you thinking? Yeah. So if we can break, if we can sort of head to sort of this 429 sort of point and break that, then that's a really good position to head up. You know, if we don't break that, potentially we're coming down to the, the 280 mark. There's a, a lower channel support there. Right. Um, you know, this would coincide with Bitcoin going up in the, you know, maybe retesting 12,000, then coming back and testing, and, and testing 10. Mm. So in line with that monthly. So that's really possible on Bitcoin as well. So, you know, I really believe here we're going up for the short term. So, mm -hmm. you know, this is a really sort of pivotal region on this chart, which is around the 430 mark. So we'll come up, we'll test that. You know, if we can't break that region, we'll more than likely come down. Right. You know, there's, there's three supports there. So we've got a support at 350, a support at around 320, and then we've got a 280 support. So it, it kind of needs to break down through all three of those before we get to 280. There's going to be, you know, lots of support along the way and potentially bounces higher. So, you okay. know, that's kind of what we've got to watch that, you know, when we're still in a bullish market. So, you know, we're still holding levels. Like this is a, a four hour chart. Ethereum's bouncing continuously off the MAs, which is a really, really good bullish sign. So um, yeah, right now, I don't see any problems with Ethereum. So, you know, it, it is a really slow, boring market and <laughs> it's like nothing's happening. So it's like, yeah, just do something. Always nice to see what Lisa has to say. Let's see if she is right this week again. Um, she already said last week she should, she, that we were moving in this channel and that she thinks that we are going to the bottom of the channel and again upwards in this channel. Let's see if this works. Then we will see 12K very soon, of course, which would also be very good for the alts because the alts are really bleeding. Even my portfolio is really bleeding. I think on a few of these alts, I'm like 40 to 45% minus. So yes, also I have some losses in this industry. This is normal. And they are only losses when you sell. I'm not selling the alts. I'm not selling Polkadot. I'm not selling these coins because I think that when Bitcoin is going sideways, these will explode upwards and maybe make one or 200% runs again. And then you are in profit again. So that's why you always keep a little bit US dollar teeter aside so you can keep trading new opportunities when the other ones are like lagging behind it's not an easy game some you win some you lose but if you play a little bit safe with only the money that you can afford to lose then it really is a nice game to play if we're talking about playing games then try turbo on prime xbt yes again the prime xbt i just love to mention them because i like what they are doing not only that they support our tour but they also have a really cool exchange so Check Prime XBT, use my referral link and get a 50% deposit bonus. Guys, if you are not into trading or you would love to trade, but you don't have the time to trade, I can understand this. I can relate to this. You can have a job or whatever, so you don't have the time to trade. Then you need to take a look at machinatrader.com. These guys can help you with being an automated trader for you. This means that they will grow your portfolio for you. They will not have access to your private keys, to your Bitcoins. They will all do this through an API and kind of the same that Prime XBT is doing with the copy trading, you will use their strategies to multiply your Bitcoins. So if you, so if you don't have enough time, 
definitely take a look at machinetrader.com because I really believe that they have a revolutionary product in this automated trading world and that you help yourself by just taking a look at it. There is not an affiliate link, just take a look at machinetrader.com and let me know what you think. Some other very cool news guys is Cuba. Yes, I love Cuba Libre, but that's my favorite drink. But Cuba is also a country and in Cuba they also have cigars and in Cuba they also have the family Castro and in Cuba they are not allowed to do everything they want because guys, yes, let's be honest, there is for example a trade embargo which means that the Cuban people cannot just buy everything or import everything into Cuba. They just can't buy all that Western stuff into Cuba. They need to get it in, in a legal way even bitcoins for them is difficult to buy because they are not allowed to trade on exchange and everything so mostly when they buy bitcoins they have these whatsapp telegram groups um, where you can you know find a seller and buy some bitcoins there to not only protect your capital but also to buy international goods at international stores like amazon like ebay or even just have a netflix account that you can pay with bitcoin now these people can't pay, they can't pay Netflix with their Cuban money, so they need cryptocurrency. This is exactly the example of what Bitcoin can do for many places in the world. So yes, for all those people in Cuba that want to watch Netflix, like you and me, but they can't because they can't pay a subscription, they can now pay these subscriptions, for example, with Bitcoin or buy some cool stuff on Amazon or eBay then they still need to find a way to get all these products into Cuba but I think they have some very creative methods and a lot of them have international friends that will bring some stuff into the country or maybe even organized crime organizations that will smuggle all that stuff into the countries and where they pick it up by paying um, with Bitcoin for example and yes because it is not completely legal in Cuba the Bitcoin price of course is a little bit higher there on the market than in the normal market so if you have some bitcoins and you want to make some quick bucks fly to Cuba do a two-week holiday sell your bitcoins for cash over there and you get an extra bonus on the normal price because these people don't have another way of buying bitcoins we as a family haven't been to Cuba yet and we definitely will go there because it's still on a bucket list yes I want to have a Cuba Libre in Cuba where it belongs with a fat cigar and a Cuba Libre Cuban head on, sit there on a chair and drink some good Cuban rum and smoke a Cuban cigar. I think it will take some time because this car, hmm, it will be a long drive and I think COVID will stop us on some borders in the, in the near future. So let's see how this development and traveling will go for us as a family as well. If you enjoyed today's video guys, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video we make. And yes, please leave a comment. Let me know which text you would put on the Bitcoin Prime Machina and let me know what text you think I am putting on this Prime Bitcoin Machina. Thank you for watching and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living thank you again and hopefully see you tomorrow again from a beautiful place somewhere here so guys see you tomorrow bye